Hello creative people, welcome back to another brand new After Effects tutorial by Mr. Rabbi. In this video, I am going to show you how to create minimal slideshow animation in Adobe After Effects CC. So guys, we have a great tutorial for today, so let's get started and have some fun. First of all, create a new composition. I am using a 1920 by 1080 pixels composition with 60 frames per second. Now import the images you want to use for this project. Drag your images to the timeline. Then perfectly resize and position it. Now right click on your image layer and pre-compose it. Now click on the rectangle. Then change the stroke into none. Then double click on the rectangle to cover up the whole composition. Now press S to open scale. Click on the watch icon to make a keyframe. Unlink the scale value. Now change the X value into 0. You will see the animation. Now increase the Y value. Also increase the Y value from the first keyframe. Press R to open rotation. Go to 1 second right, click on the watch icon to make a keyframe. Then go to the beginning and change the rotation value. Now go to the second keyframe and change the rotation into 90 degree. It looks perfect to me. Now press U to open all the keyframes. Then go about 3 or 4 second right. Then add keyframes. Now go one second right, select the first keyframes, then copy them by pressing Ctrl plus C. Now press Ctrl plus V to paste the keyframes. You will see that our animation is now looking like it was reversed. So we will have to change the rotation value. Go to rotation and change the rotation value about 230 degree. Now play the animation. Now select all the keyframes and press F9 to easy is them. Now change the track mat of the image layer into alpha mat.
Now right click on your timeline then go to new and solid or you can press ctrl plus y to open new solid settings. I am using white color for the first solid then create another solid with black color. Now press and hold on the rectangle and select ellipse tool from the list. Now double click on the ellipse tool to make a mask to the black solid. Now change the mask option into subtract. Then increase the mask feather to give a gradient look. Press T to open opacity. Now decrease the opacity. Select the solids and precompose them as background. Now drag the background composition under the layer and lock it. Select the image and shape layer and press Ctrl plus D three times to make three copies of them. Go to effects and presets and search for tint. Tint will make your layer desaturated. I'll apply tint on my first image layer and the third image layer. Now select the shape and the image layer and precompose them one by one. Again go to effects and presets and search for drop shadow. Play with the settings to get a perfect shadow. Now click on the drop shadow and press Ctrl plus C to copy the layer style. Then select the other layers and press Ctrl plus V to paste the effect. Now place the layer one after another. Yes, the animation is looking good, but the shadow is not looking perfect. So increase the softness and the opacity to make the shadow more visible. After that, press Ctrl plus C to copy the layer style and select the other layers then press Ctrl plus V to paste the same effect. Yes, it's looking like a perfect animation now. Double click on the composition, select image and press S to open scale. Now increase the scale value. Now make its size little bit smaller than the first one. Continue the steps.
Now go to the fourth composition and select the image and press S to open scale. Then make a keyframe at the beginning. Then go to the position where the animation stopped and increase the scale value. It will make a zoom effect. Now check motion blur for all the layers, then activate it from the top of the timeline. Use these steps again and again to make more slideshow animation. So guys, hope you enjoyed the video, give a thumbs up to my video. Also subscribe my channel for more videos. Thank you. See you next time. Till then, have some fun.